You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will live we will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Uh yeah, Grime Dango, there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh references in this. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. We can get the Gek! A free Gek! Oh my god, we're gonna build another busted card! And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers a 2 6 for zero cost! Ah! Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils! The Flying Mantis! See, there's still an advantage to b destroying the first run. There is still an advantage to kicking ass on the first run, even though they don't let you beat the game immediately. This is the most, no, actually there is a more op card. Did you know, wait, did you know you can get a zero cost seven seven with bifurcation or trifurcation if you're really careful? All right, who, who are we gonna name it after? Who gets the name? Wait, I know who gets the name. I know who gets the name. Grime Dango. Grime Dango gets the name on here. And that's because Grime Dango was the one who pestered me to play this game. We'll do we'll do dough next time if we die again. We'll do dough next time. Next time we'll be dough. It's Grime Dango. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You can gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Hey, we got stoat back. From the death of your creature, you have gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. So, okay. Let's put a squirrel out. Because this squirrel will absorb the damage from the rattlesnake. Bones. And now we got a possum. So the possum can, the possum can probably kill the rattler. And then we'll have this one. So let's... Oh, yeah, we can put a squizzle out. And then we can go... <laughs> While I was asleep? Again? Yay, possums! Bones. Let's see if... I think we'll win right here. Yeah, we will. Bing, bing, bing. Look at that! Extra teeth! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Whoa, wait, there went the hand again. Uh... Hey, look at this. Squirrel and elk fawn. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll maybe there's something we need to do here. Whoa, hey, look at this. 
What's this say? Mighty Leap. Hey, look, there's blood on here. Do you see this? Wait, oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on. Look at that. 273. There's blood written on here. Huh. Do you think... Should we open this thing? Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would even escape that iron crypt. Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. One, two, three, four, five. Easy enough. A skink! I forgot that I had put that in there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. We got a skink! Alright. Wanna do this one? Okay, so now we have to now we have to think about this. We can't move that one at all. We can move this one. That one has to stay, so we're going to need to counter that one. This one can't. Okay, so there we go. Mm. Oh, right, because it'll move over. So we want... No, we don't want that. Uh, hmm. There. Got it. Got it. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. We got the worker ant and the ant queen. Hell yeah. Ah, and two more puzzles. Ah, so this isn't with ants. I don't remember how ants work. Let's go look it up in the book. Ants. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Okay, so each ant increases the damage of other ants by one. Oh, hey, look at this! Hey, we just got four free teeth from this skull! That's sick! Four teeth. What's this? I happen to know there's... A, I think there's a secret in here you can get. Maybe not. Maybe you can't get it. We need to figure out how to get this this wolf out of the cage. This game's like 20 bucks. It's really worth it. You need to buy this game. It's fucking good. Yeah, but look, we can't take it. We need something to go over here. Okay. Well, let's do this next puzzle, huh? Now that we know how ants work. So for each ant you have, it does more damage. So we'll have four ants... Oh, we can go like this. No, wait, that's not right. Hmm. Wait, hold on. So it can't be this one. Wait, that'll do three? Four? We need one more damage. So we need to reduce damage by one somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, this is the person who did Pony Island. Yeah. So we're one damage short. There we go. 
That was what it was. I needed to block it. I, I, I just made one small mistake. Hey, look! Curious. The caged wolf. They really let you brute force this? No, you're, you're supposed to... It's puzzles. Okay, wait. I know how this one works. Hold on. This one can't be here because it'll do damage. This one needs to only take one damage. Hold on. So this one has... Wait, hold on. This is... Okay, so this is the one that can't move. This one does, we don't want there. That's what we want right there. Wait. That one can't move either. Hmm. Yeah, the bifurcated da bifurcated damage, yeah. Wait. Okay, so this has to Wait, no, this is going to block that. So what we actually want is this. No, that's bad. Hmm. This one can't move. This will destroy this one. This is tough. Make the first mantis die early using the left column. Yeah, so this one would die, and then it wouldn't hit this one. Then this one won't die. So there. Hey, that did it! Good call! Fucking good call! Ooh. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Squirrel! All right. Well, that was cool. So we solved all of those puzzles. There's no, there's none more of those. We got all those cars. That's pretty fucking sick. All right. Let's get our, let's get our figurine. We've been making this guy wait for so long. All right. Let us continue. Let's continue. Here we go. Here we go. The meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious rattler. A brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs. Six. A six bone cost for three one. Not bad. <gasps> That's so cute, Jazz Dog. Yes, uh, six bones, three damage. The gas can yeah, glass cannon. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Problem with this card, though. This is, this seems really powerful, but remember, it costs four bones to play every time it dies. So, maybe we could make it. It's got a lot of utility. It can definitely be buffed, which would be sick. But personally, I think we should go with the coyote. But you know what? Let's take the cockroach. Fuck it, we're doing the roach. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. We don't have, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this right now. I mean, I do, but you guys don't know what we're supposed to do with this yet. So I'm not 100% sure. We already did the puzzles, so. Yeah, we're going to touch all his shit. Yeah, let's touch it all. <laughs> touch, touch, touch. Yeah, running around, touching everything in the room. Ooh, 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 ooh. Touch, touch, touch. How you like it? Fuck you. All right, let's play again, though. Come on, let's play more of the game. I want to play more game. Let's do it. Let's get some items. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Oh, we want the bone tokens. Bone tokens are busted. Let's take the black goat, and then we're good to go. First battle. Let's do the battle. Mm. Do the shit. You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? 
we have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose, I suppose we're in deep this time. The Caged Wolf. So we have a coyote and an alpha here. Let's get the stoat out, huh? Let's put the stoat out right away. Where do you want to put the stoat? Stoat right here can absorb the damage. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> Total misplay. What an asshole. God, why is the stoat why does the stoat gotta be such a dick? Do you have a favorite color? Do you all have a color theme or any decorations or tree we're going to be putting up for the holiday? Yes. We are going to be doing Christmas in Hell. Uh, once, one, I have a couple of things I have to take care of, and then we're going to rework the, the studio set. It's going to be red, black, and purple are going to be our colors for this year. So we're going to do, like, my favorite colors, which are, um, you know, black, red, and cosmic purple. So we're going to get all kinds of cool stuff. And we're gonna get like little bats and, and we're gonna dress the whole room up. That's part of the reason why, you know, my streams are gonna be a little bit shorter, but we're gonna be doing really cool stuff. So if you stick around, you're gonna have a really good time. Um, yes, Hannah thing, you absolutely can. You absolutely can. Is the caged wolf a sigma? You'll have to find out. Ow. Let's get the let's get the let's get the caged wolf out, shall we? Should we get the caged wolf out? Let's let him. Let's see what happens. Xander needs an oiler fast for that shadow onesie. Well, he's gonna have to work a little harder. Back in the game, she says. Look at that beetle. She's a little stink bug. Oof. Did I get a P.O. box? I did, yes, I do, Saberflote. Absolutely, I have a P.O. box. Just let me know. Uh, if you DM me on Discord, I'll uh, I'll give it to you. That would be wonderful, of course. Anyway, let's continue. Ooh, the wolf didn't quite get broken yet. I wanna, I wanna break it out. I wanna break out the wolf. Can we break out the wolf? What was that? What was that? Yeah. Isn't that a bit weird? I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish the match the slow way. I'm not taking the surrender. I'm not taking the surrender, fuck you. Fuck you, dude, I'm finishing it the slow way. I want my points. Give me my fucking points, dude. Yeah, I want my points. No mercy, dude. No mercy. No fucking mercy, bro! We want to get our extra teeth. Yeah, give me another wolf! Let's get the teeth out there! Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it! Bah! Oh, look at all those teeth! Woo! Woo! I'm here for the teeth. Yo, Val9000, welcome back! The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Wait, Argo, of course, but you should keep your you should keep your keepsake. I mean, that's a fucking sick ass shirt, but you don't gotta send it to me. The bountiful Warren, it spawns a rabbit whenever it is played. Hey, we got the Grime Dango card. We're taking the Grime Dango card. We got the fucking Grandango card. It's it's up. And guess what, everybody? Guess what? Guess what? The warm light of a campfire. Oh! Give me the Grime Dango! Give me the Grime Dango! The busted, zero-cost, bifurcated, flying Grime Dango with an upgrade! Now we got a super-powered Grime Dango. Fucking sick. 
and we can play it turn fucking one instantaneous absolutely fucking incredible let's do this bing bing instant kill so stupid Kaminsky? Who the fuck is Kaminsky? Oh, hey! This is a good card. One bone cost. Oh. Well, let I guess we take the Kaminsky card, right? Let's do the sacrifice. Choice is yours. Wait a minute. We could put Undying on Kaminsky. <laughs> I'll go. Marvelous. Oh, look. Now the Stoat and the Bug both want us to power them up. But we're not getting either of them. No, no, no. We're gonna put the- we're gonna put the Cockroach into Kaminsky. Watch this. Kaminsky is about to become that one image from the Kafka story. Metamorphosis? This image is about to happen. Let's do it. Undying defender that dodges in front of attacks. So absurd. That's gonna be so powerful. We have such a good deck so far. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, I think now is the time for us to use our bones up. So we can put this down. Good play. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you, Bug. We can also put Kaminsky in. And we'll do that. Hmm. Hey, look at that. We got Kaminsky back. So we can put him right back out again. Can we sack the stump? Well, we killed him. We, we just, we're acing the early fights. This is really good. We're like killing the early fights. By the way, uh, I, like again, we've got some busted cards right now, but I'm telling you, it is very hard to win this game without busted cards. You're gonna see what we get into. We've only seen the second boss. Wait till you guys see the fucking third one. Kaminsky will have his use. The Rat King. The wolf, the proud wolf, a, a, a vicious contender. Hey, this guy's got a mushroom. Let's take the second wolf. I wonder what the mushroom means. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, it's about broken bullshit. Yes, it is. Warm a creature by the fire. All right. Nope. Do what you must. Huh. Yeah, let's buff Grime Dango again. Four. The fire warmed the weary Grime Dango. You should. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your Grime Dango in tow, you retreated into the woods. All right, here we go. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Yeehaw! Twas the prospector! Yeah, we got the smoke. So, we got a worker ant, we got a skink, we got an opossum, and we got a squirrel. 
Well, obviously we gotta put the squirrel and the smoke out. We should probably put out the skink. Maybe we could put the skink here. So many bones. Maybe we can play the possum as well. The worker ant is gonna be useless to us because it, well actually no, it'll do one damage, so. All right, look at that, we got three critters out. Yeah, the smoke, uh, the smoke gives you multiple bones. That's the secret. At first it seems useless, but once you have bones, the smoke gives you additional bones, which is very cool. Yeah, we got a bunch of cards out, so that's pretty sick. Ah, shit, I fucked that up. Okay, well that's fine. Don't be greedy. Hey, don't call me greedy. I'm not greedy. Oh, he got our shit. Ah, okay. Greetings. Hey, we got the stink bug. Stink bug's great. We should definitely take care of the wolf cub first and then go from there. You must construct additional bones. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Ant queen. When a card bearing this sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, let's do this then. We'll sacrifice these two. Get that one, and then we'll get another ant. Power in numbers, the ant's creed. We don't want to... Okay, well, we'll go with this for now. It might have been better to sacrifice the stink bug. <laughs> prospector boss, again. He always does the prospector. Ah, the wolf got through, fuck. Joker mode. Stoat's fucking tired of fighting the prospectors. What's up? He's just like, fuck this shit, man. Ooh, we got an elk. Dag nabbit! Okay, so we need something that can defend against the wolf. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We have bones. We have plenty of bones. We can play the coyote. Yeah, coyote was a good call here. Hey, we got Grime Dango. Grime Dango's gonna be our key in round two. Let's do it. Round two, Grime Dango win. Round two, Grime Dango win. Hey, good job, Val Nine Thou. There's gold in them cards. Bonk. Bonk. Yet, Jazz Dog. G -g gold! I've struck gold! Grime Dango's going out. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? We're about to beat the boss in a single attack. Grime Dango, MV fucking P! Bing, bing! G -g 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 Look at all those extra teeth! Oh! Ah! Op cards. Love them. Let me relight your candles. Very well. You may choose a rare card. The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. The poor abandoned child does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Child 13? I have no words for this freak of nature. The long elk. Uh...
Okay. Do we want child 13 or do we want the freak of nature? What? Let the actual fuck? Well, let's take the long elk. Let's find out. We'll take child 13 another time. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Let's find out what's up with the out long elk, shall we? The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. I don't know how the secret with child 13 works. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. And a mantis. Oh, guys, getting a mantis. We gotta take a mantis, don't we? A one blood? We gotta take a mantis. Fuck that. Mantis is fucking great. So this lets us remove a card. Or we can empower a card. Or... Well, either way, we're gonna have to do an elite fight. I personally think empowering it would be really good. Yeah. Removing a card could be helpful, though. We do have a bit of a heavy deck. Oh, hey, look! The wolf is out! The cage broke! Wait a second, look! We broke the cage! Oh, because the wolf was caged! We broke the cage! Ooh, I think we can put the wolf in here. Yep, I was right. That's kind of an obvious one. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. Shank him? I don't think that would be a good idea. Let's warm something up by the fire. Yeah, this game is very weird. And let me tell you this. You haven't even seen anything yet. This game gets so fucking weird, you have no idea. I'm telling you right now, don't get comfortable. Because shit's about to get fucking crazy. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its health, said another. Oh, this is different. This one... <laughs> Um, oh, they're nervous this time. Do we want to tr risk it with the mantis? We could also make a beefy... Oh, wait a minute. Kaminsky would be invulnerable. Let's, let's risk Kaminsky, okay? The moon? Wait, what do you mean moon? Do we have a moon? Is there a moon? That's between you and the moons. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do Kaminsky. Yeah, one bone. If he gets buffer, that'd be great. The health of the Kaminsky was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay, good. So that one was safe. I, I, d I think that the first few runs you do, they don't sacrifice your animals. But there are in the future, there's a chance that they'll eat your animals. So it's very risky. Okay, so we have flying... No, we have blocker bugs. Burrower. Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. So these guys will block it. Hmm. Okay, so those are blockers. Hmm. Okay, well, here's what we do, I think. Let's get the squirrel out. Let's get the goat out. Then we'll sacrifice an ant. We'll, we'll get the ant queen out. And then next turn, we'll put a worker ant out. We could get a whole ant thing going. That'd be sick. Two damage. Not a big deal. Okay, let's get a worker ant out. Here we go. Uh, that's a one, two. What are these? Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. So, yeah, let's put the squirrel down. We'll get another ant out. We go okay did i neglect to mention overkill damage excess damage is not wasted it carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim lucky for you oh that's sick oh fuck he's got a mantis shit that's really bad actually that's gonna kill all of our cards if we're not careful 
it's actually going to kill two of our cards. So we need, we should try to, well, let's see if we can win this turn. That'll be six damage. That should be enough to win it. Beat the elite fight. That would have hurt if we had to fight a mantis. That's the thing. You think that you think we get op cards. He gets even more op cards. You'll see. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. One blood, two blood, or bones? I feel we should do a bones. Honestly, I think bones is like... I say op... <sighs> yes. We, we, have, we don't have a whole lot of bones cards. I feel like bones would be good here. Yeah, bones would probably be good. Reginald, a random card with a cost of bone. What were you expecting? Okay, so we got a death touch with three HP. Reggie is, Reginald is actually pretty good. This is a good card. Oh no, another fire. Do we want to risk it on a fire? Actually, honestly, the fire is the better choice here, even if we lose a card. I don't know if the, I don't know how the, oh, look at this, it's health again. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here, we'll put on Reginald, and if he gets eaten, then it won't matter. If we r r are lucky, then he won't get eaten. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty re retreat with your Reginald. Okay, good. Wait, really, Val Valninthal? Um, what's the issue? What's the error you're getting, Val Valninthal? Talking cards somewhere. Around here. Personally. Wait, personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Salutations. Ooh. So there's a card somewhere around here we're supposed to bump into. A talking card? Uh, okay. So we got two bees incoming. Bees are not that big of a threat. We can go like this, and we can put a bullfrog out. That's literally what they're for. Yeah, yeah. I say I say af all, af all the time. I I always have, I've said op because it's funny to me. I know people say it's op as an overpowered, but I but listen, I played league for like a hundred years. Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's op. That's what everybody would say back in the time. Back in the- back in my day! We got the stink bug. Okay, we want to put the stink bug across from the mantis. Cracking, and then we can put this. Fine. No, I didn't. I didn't hear about the, the voicemail. What happened, Somniostatic? Was it fucked? I know that, like, I know that, like, that... Oh! Look who we got. Shh. We got our long elk. We got our long elk. Uh-oh. I don't know if we're gonna get to play it this round, though. You were lacking the bones. Let's see if we can get some bones. You'll see what a long elk is in a minute. Are we ready for Long Elk? You have me here. I surrender. No! Look. The Long Elk! Ah! Yay, friend! Yay! We love the Long Elk! There's nothing creepy about that at all! Hmm. 
They're enjoying my friend. What a friend. What a fucking creepy friend. Look at that. It's just his spine, everybody. It's just his hairy spine. What's wrong? Are you scared? Are you scared of his scary, hairy p spine? He, look at how good he is. He's got death touch and everything. Fuck it. He can't move, though. Ooh, watch this. Bye, bitch. Let's get that damage. Let's get those extra coins. Ring. Scary, hairy spine. Hey, Constance. Good to see you. Attention, Westerners. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Okay, guys, I want another opossum. Fuck you. I'm taking the opossum. I'm not doing another fire. Fuck that. We're going to the sacrifice route. No, the otter sucks. I hate the otter. The otter sucks. I hate it. All right, who are we sacrificing? We should empower long elk. Elk. <gasps> Wait a minute. What if we put long elk in here? And then we gave it... What if we gave it the Ant Queen? We could give it the Mantis. We could give it the Splitting Strike like the Mantis. And it's Death Touch. Oh my god, we have to do that. We have to put the Mantis in. We're going to sacrifice the Mantis. And it, this will have Death Touch. It'll dodge. And it will hit two targets. So it can poison two targets. Which would be wild. What happens if you sacrifice Grime Dango? Uh, it would be a waste in this case. Because Grime Dango is op, and the the only thing that transfers is uh, sigils when you sacrifice them. So we don't want to sacrifice Grime Dango. Yeah, sacrifice is fucking fantastic. Wait till you guys see the other one. There's one other we haven't discovered yet, and it's super great. The site is giving login errors. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, got him, got he. Here we go, watch this though. Wanna see something sick? Watch this, everybody. First of all, we can block flying with the frog, which is sick. But secondly, once we get enough bones, we'll be able to use the stink bug to make them useful. Watch this, make them useless, I mean. I'm gonna take three damage here, which is not good, but whatever. We might actually have to use the knife. We might have to use the knife, guys. Hate to tell you. Let's put the skink down. And then, we'll put the stink bug here. VGG was having weird issues. Is it Cloudflare? Oh, okay. It might be that. I'm really sorry. I don't know. What does the knife do? I guess we'll have to find out. You can draw a new card once per turn. Do we want to use the knife? Should we do the knife? 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 Knife time! It put our eyeball on the thing, and now we can't see well. No, 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 no. It it puts five dam it puts four damage counters on the thing. And now our vision sucks. But we won. The knife lets you cut out your eyes for four free damage. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. What the fuck? Which eye should we take? Bottom left eye? You want this one? But this one's got two pupils though. That's kind of cool, right? This one, bottom left? Oh, this is a goat eye, it is. Ooh, let's take the goat eye. Yeah, let's do the goat eye. Ah, oh, it's all pixely. Wasn't that the one? 
Was that the right one? Was that the wrong one? Better. Regardless, the choice is final. Oh, okay. But goats have a... No, goats have a sideways, like, like division symbol looking eye. Okay, none of these are actually good. This card sucks, actually. I thought I took the goat one. That's okay. It's all good. But yeah, let's do the Rat King. I think Rat King is good. Yeah, the, the, the eye stab is very... The animations are very punchy in this game. It's really impressive. Okay, so we need to sacrifice something. You know what? I got an idea. Let's sacrifice the Rat King. And let's... We should put the, the, the Rat King on the Possum. This would be... The Possum Rat King would be a two-bone cost, four-bone... Four bones. So we would get five bones from the Possum instead of one. That's so good. We're gonna do that. Super Possum! Was there a weird ring noise? Yes, there was. I don't know what it was, though. Maybe it's something in here? No more teeth. You guys ready to do the boss? Oh, I'm sorry, Ashmar. All right, let's do it. Let's do the boss. By the way, this boss is a bitch anyway. The smoke. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go, fish. Hey, there's our long elk. That's a good start. So there's not much we can do against the kingfisher. We could get an ant out. That might be a good idea. And we can put the smoke out, which will give us bones. Okay, put the ant there. We'll sacrifice this and get the skink. And then we have enough for the long elk right away. There we go. Look at that fucking long elk. Mwah! Long deer, long deer, long deer. Hmm, stale fish, hard choose. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put a squirrel down so he can take a squirrel. New fish, easy choose. I think we're gonna beat. All right, we're gonna push him to round two. Okay, round two sucks, sucks really bad. Okay, get ready. This sucks ass. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so what he does here is he puts bait buckets out. When these die, something bad happens. Yes, that's that's correct, Knight Rider. That's correct, it does. Let's see what we can do. Nice. Yeah, they dodge. That's right. He spawns bait almost unkillable sharks is his second phase. You have to rush him down very fast or else you end up in a lot of trouble. It sucks. I think we're going to beat him though. Yes, we did. We got enough damage. So the second phase of the angler, if you don't rush him down, you just lose. You have to kill him very quickly. Need a light. That's very good. I'm very glad we beat him. Your reward? 
Child 13, Uravuli, or a pack rat. We gotta take Child 13. It's Child 13 time. Yeah, thank you, Grime Dango. Please remember to get the stream over 300 likes. And join the website if you're in YouTube chat, unless you're really, really comfy. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor detoured you. Dinner would have to wait. 